getting a bit dry around here. Okay, it was nothing. Let's take a closer. Nothing to report. There's nobody. Moved over there. How long have you been hiding in the atrium? I stopped counting long ago. Long before coming here. It gives me a headache. So you weren't born near the World Tree with the Elves? It's not there that they made you? No. I wasn't born in the Amber Lake. On the other hand, you could say that it was there that I died. Sort of. It goes back a long way. At the time... Don't waste our time, dog! I imagine in the cesspit where you come from, this cell could pass for an elegant lounge. 
So let me dispel that misunderstanding. You're not at the Embassy of Akanash, and I didn't invite you here for tea and sympathy. You're in prison, and you're going to tell me without any nonsense how you counted on getting your hands on the heart of the tree. Then, the executioner here will take you to the laboratory and store your body in separate jars. On that point, you were right. It is here that you will die. Did I say that? Well, it's very simple. The first part of my plan was to find my bearings in your tower. And the only one who knows every corner of your hovel is the one who built it. The architect. Your old friend, Kerberos. But what a great plan. What a pity Kerberos mysteriously disappeared once his work was finished. Isn't it? Oh, really? He disappeared? Ah, now that's unlucky, isn't it? But no matter. Because our dear Quirberus did not disappear without signing his work. Apparently, he left the complete plans of the tower somewhere inside the Akanash Library. And everything is there for the one who knows how to look. So I said to myself, Hey, Rakash, you're gonna move your butt, find that library, and dig us out the secret plans of the atrium. Sticks, welcome home. I'm upstairs if you need anything. Not a bad hideout, Ozcan. It's dripping with just enough moisture to save me from getting parched lips. Hmm. This might sound strange, but can you remind me how we met? You're right. It does sound strange. You must have taken a nasty blow to the noggin. It's lucky we met, especially for you. You wanted to know some stuff? And I wanted to recover some stuff. You're good at stealing, I'm good at dealing. It didn't take long to come to an understanding. That's how it works in the bowels. Yeah, uh, it's coming back to me. I think. Listen, I gotta get to the Akanash archives. Any idea of the best way to get there? The library, eh? I can show you the way through the sewers, yeah. But what can someone like you do in there? I know it's none of my business, right? I'm looking for a map of the atrium. I can't always rely on the guidance of a blind old man. The plans, eh? In that case, one of my men, Hector, a copyist, could be your guide in this labyrinth. And how do I find, uh, what's his name? The Marks. I'll tell Hector and he'll leave some for you. You just have to follow them. Understood. And while we're on the subject, you know a safe way out of this tower? When I'm done here, I don't plan on hanging around longer than I have to. You want to leave the atrium? You could hop on an airship, but you'd still have to know when one is leaving. It can be months before the order is given to send one. So, who gives the orders? I don't know. It's paperwork. It's irritating, you understand? I don't like to strain my eyes. But I happen to know that all the signed orders are stored in the transport office. You could uh, forge one to suit your plans. Hmm, I'll try it. Thanks for the info. Well, I'm off. Oh, wait. If you wanted to thank me, you could maybe bring me back something from the library? Go on. I've heard that a renowned treatise on alchemy is hidden there. The kind of book that's so radical that it was placed under a glass cover. Good. If I find it, I'll bring it back for you. See you later. One last thing. 
You're the rough and ready type, aren't you? If I were to ask you to eliminate someone for me, would you do it? Quietly, without making waves? You're starting to ask a lot. If I do it, it better be worth it for me. Don't worry, I fully understand that my eternal gratitude will not suffice. Anyway, in the docks, should you cross the path of a labourer called Godbert, make sure he has a little accident. I didn't appreciate it. Well. Enough with the life story. We do some business, that's fine by me. As long as you pay. See you later. Well, let's go to the embassy for this airship business, and then I'll go to the archives to look for the maps. Oscan, the transport office is at the center of the embassy. Distinguished diplomats, you will have a surprise invitee at the negotiating table. Another beautiful day at the atrium. 
its burning sun, its dripping walls, its delicate odour of burnt amber. Shut up, would you? It's friendly natives. Saw something. Someone there? It's over for him. Holy shit, this 
damn headache won't go away. It's pounding away like a new whore's bed on payday. I can't think.
one troublemaker less. I just have to get rid of the body. Hmm. Do I throw it in the vacuum, or do I put it in the closet? Thank you. 